What's going on everyone, ODC here, and I'm back with another action figure review. Today's review, we're going to take a look at the Jada Toys Mega Man. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I did that voice, but we have Mega Man here. This was a figure I was actually really looking forward to, especially coming from Jada Toys. Um, I do have the old Funko version, which we're going to kind of compare and contrast with a little bit later. Um, it was a really nice placeholder for a very long time. Good, solid, decent articulation on that older one. But I think this one might blow that older one away. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty excited. And so is, let's just bring him up here. He's pretty excited too. He's a good boy. He's having a seat. And uh, <laughs> um, I really like this. I, I, I love the fact that it's coming from Jada Toys. I love the price of it. I think it's a really good price. Uh, let's get him down there. He can be a good boy down there. We'll just put him right there. Um, really nice packaging, resealable, nice. I like the little um, little uh, sprite right there on the side for Mega Man. This is part of Wave One, which included um, Fireman, Mega Man, and Ice Man. And uh, there's gonna be more more characters to come. It comes with a display stand for his little blast effect which is really cool um comes a little like even if you wanted to hang this thing on the wall it comes a little like plastic nice sturdy plastic hook so it doesn't damage anything else or anything like that another picture of the sprite for mega man on the side and then we have mega man really nice artwork on the front as well and it also comes with uh the uh little what you call it the life insignia on the side so pretty cool stuff let's get this guy opened up and uh we'll be right back with uh, first impressions okay and we're back with the figure out of package and i gotta say i'm i am quite impressed with the overall layout of the figure um the overall look of the figure the feel of the figure um pretty impressed with the range of motion that's that's hidden on this guy and the amount of accessories that he does come with I gotta say, I, I am really impressed. Extra head, like I said, display stand, um, the peg for this display stand, and then the effect right here. A two, a three, technically three extra hands right here uh, with his little uh, um, blaster right there. And then the arms themselves. I, I'm just, I don't know. This guy's really cool looking. Let, let me just bring him in here. We'll take a closer look at the face sculpt and everything. I think it looks really good. Looks very nicely done. Very pleased overall with the presentation of the sculpt. Simplistic. Um, it's supposed to look like, you know, it's supposed to look like. It's supposed to look retro, you know. Um, the back, very simple as far as the design does go. And like I said, he's got like hip swivels and, and thigh swivels and He's got a ton of stuff. We'll get to that with articulation. I'm kind of going off on a tangent here, but the sculpt of the head looks really good. Nice, crisp, and clean. Don't have too many issues uh, with, like, paint slop that I can see or anything like that. Um, just to point it out, because I know a lot of other reviewers are probably pointing this out, there is a line that, that looks like the where the head was detached, kind of like a clamshell. But the head doesn't feel like a cheap clamshell it doesn't feel like like chintzy or a dollar store item or anything like that and it has a nice gloss to it on the helmet um there's flat areas where there need to be flat and then glossy where they need to be glossy for like the armor and stuff which is really cool very nicely done i really do like this quite a bit and like i said it's such a simple design and such a simple looking smaller type figure but it does get the job done because I really feel like the last definitive version for uh, Mega Man at a affordable price was the Funko one. And nothing wrong with the Funko one, but you can tell it's aging a little bit. Um, how to assemble this. You just kind of want to take this, peg that into one side. And you can kind of bend it any way you want to. Um, was, all right, so there's just a, uh, a little hole right here. It's kind of hard to see, but it is in there and you can kind of put it like that and then have it like aiming like that so you can have it kind of like in a three 2d not almost a 3d a 2d <laughs> dimension if you want to have it going like this going you know 
you can. Um, to remove his little arm, all you have to do is just simply just kind of pop. And it's not too much where you feel like it's going to break or anything like that. So that's really nice. And the blaster arm does have a hinge on it, which is really nice as well. And you can just pop that right on. And uh, you can have him bend at that elbow right there. Um, I would suggest kind of holding on to the arm itself like this and then kind of pushing in lightly, very lightly on that and then just kind of, boop, there you go. And you've got the little detail, sculpted detail for the arm right there. Looks really good. They did a very good job on this. I am very, very pleased with this. And it doesn't take much these days at the uh, ripe age of what I am uh, <laughs> um, to please me, I guess. I'm just, I just, I, I, there's so much nonsense that goes on in the world. You just want to kind of just take these figures and just enjoy them as much as possible and not, I guess, I don't know, take things too seriously as short as life is lately. Um, but there you go. You can kind of have that in like a 2D situation right there. Bloop, bloop, bloop. There is the head sculpt. Looks really good. Very pleased with how this turned out. Um, and kind of have that angry face. So you could use this angry face when he's, you know, shooting or whatever you want to do. If he's just sitting around, you could put a hot dog in one hand and maybe he's chomping on the other end of the hot dog. I don't know. I'm just making stuff up at this point. But I really do like the nice gloss effect for the top. It is nice. It doesn't, like, retain fingerprints or anything like that. So you don't have to worry about that. But uh, I think it looks pretty cool. And if we can just want to pop that head off. Very easy, nice, smooth pop as far as the, uh, the head coming off. The hole for the head there we go now you can have him kind of making a face at you if you wanted to you know there you go and you can twist right here which is great so you can really get him in a nice cool like if you want to have him i don't know let's get him in a jumping or like a stance pose here i mean he does have a pretty deep angle pivot too look at that look at that man that is pretty darn good right there. And then we'll just adjust that and we'll have this pointed up. And I gotta say, I am pretty impressed with that. It, like I said, simple pose. It's nothing crazy. Whoa, but we're dropping stuff. It's nothing crazy, but I don't know. Maybe it's just like, I, I it, it's just something as simple as that, that just makes me happy. I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what, how to explain it. It's just, um, it looks good. It does, it does what it needs to do. It doesn't do anything above normal, but, um, I just got to say, I, I, whenever I get a Jada toys figure with the, whether it's street fighter or something like this, they're just, they're getting good licenses that people want or have been clamoring, especially like a street fighter figure, uh, line that's within budget of a lot of people that have, you know, um, not deep pockets or just the regular collector can get as opposed to having to spend a lot of money. And there's nothing wrong with Storm Collectibles figures. Um, I actually tend to like a lot of their aesthetics, but the price is just, I mean, I just don't want to invest so much money into... Um, collecting a lot of those figures where the price of 25 bucks you can get you know let's see how deep the the line goes but you can you can get a bunch of characters that have that, you know most companies haven't even released including uh you know the old NECA figures or the old you know um soda figures or even the current storm collectibles um, so we're getting characters that haven't been released by anybody else. So that's really nice that we're getting that variety. And I, I just, I just really, I think Jada Toys is, is high up there as far as one of my companies that I'm really proud of for doing the business that they're doing, do, um, giving us the prices that we want 
and giving us the amount of accessories and options that you have with most of their regular releases. It, it's really nice. And they're giving us the, the proper, I think, character selection. Um, so I, I think they have their ears to the ground, and I think they know what uh, what's what people actually want. Let's get this other arm in there. That just keeps falling over. But the arms are not hard. They're not scary to pop in and out. Nice and easy. Even the hands are nice and easy. You can have him with the hand displayed out. And there is a hinge joint on the hand as well. Let me just check the other hands. Yes, they all have hinges on them. And they are a lateral hinge joint. Um, so no vertical hinge joints, unfortunately, but you can have him saying, you know, you know, um, the old talk to the hand, or you could have him, you know, say, you know, the rock, shut your mouth or just bring it, you know, you could just, just bring it, you know, just bring it anyway. Um, know your role and shut your mouth anyway. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, you could do whatever you want with him. Um, I'm going to go with the fist hand. I just love the, I just love always having a, and the option of having a fist hand. And you kind of have to, for me at least, I mean, I'm definitely going to be displaying him with his, uh, with his friggin' hand cannon. But there you go, man. I mean, that's, that's what you need right there. So when I go through articulation, which I'm going to do right now, um, I'm going to kind of go through the articulation on this arm and then I'll clearly, there's not that much articulation other than the bend at the elbow over here, but I'll go through it on this arm to kind of display what you can do with the other arm in. Anyway, I digress. The, uh, as far as articulation does go on this guy, the head can move up or back actually about that far. Um, the head can look down maxed out right about there. So it looks down really well. It can pivot side to side. Really good. You got some job turkeys. Oh, yeah, we got some gobbles up in here. So there you go with that. The arms go up about that far. Looks really good. Nice. You know, pretty basic. Nothing too crazy, but good. Um, the uh, arms, like I said, do have a swivel at the elbow and have a bend at the elbow, which is a little bit more than 90 degrees, which is really nice. So... That's that's pretty good for a small kind of, you know, pudgy type built character. And then we have a swivel at the wrist and then we have a hinge joint on the wrist. Now with the fists, the hinge joints there, it's definitely not going to range that well. You can get a little bit of a kind of like, come si chiama, you know, um, but you could also... Uh, get a uh, swivel at, or it's kind of got that diaphragm joint. Um, I don't have any issues with the diaphragm joint. Um, it kind of bends, crunches forward about that far, which is really good for a little guy. And then crunches back, more so back than forward. And then he can pivot side to side a little bit and he can swivel up top. Um, he also does have a waist swivel. It is there. And this is kind of a diaper a little bit. Um, he can, he's got T-jointed hips over here. And then you can kick forward and back. He's got an upper thigh swivel. He does have a single jointed knee. Um, and sometimes when these you're swiveling these legs, the 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 joint will kind of some gravitate or migrate left or right. So just make sure that those are lined up, and then just be careful bending your knee so it doesn't like snap or break or anything like that. Not saying that it will, but I, I just always try to be care on the lighter side of caution, I should say. Um, so there's that you can bend at the knee, which is really good. So nice 90 degree bend right there. And then a swivel at the knee. He does have a pointy toe, he, uh, hinge joint, which is really nice. And he can go forward a little bit past neutral. Um, and just to kind of display that's that. No, there's kind of a click. And once you click, I feel like maybe that's just neutral and it won't go any further forward. So, I mean, that's a little unfortunate. I would have liked a little bit more, but that's okay. It's not a big deal. And then he does have an ankle pivot, so that's really nice as well. And then no peg holes at the bottom of the feet, And uh, but he does have some sculpting right there for his kind of boosters and a partridge in a pear tree. Now, as far as a comparison does go, here is the old Funko figure, and I think this is actually a really, still a really nice figure. I think it's going to still 
um, sit on the shelf um, somewhere. He did come with an extra arm, no extra head. I think he came with an extra hand as well. Um, this was also like four year, four or five years ago I bought this. I think it was like four years ago. It came out like 2020 that I picked this guy up as a placeholder for um, my um, action figure um, video game shelf display, which I do have a bunch of different characters from various uh, video games that I enjoy, still play, and used to play. So, and like I said, the articulation on him is pretty comparable to him. Um, there, it's not too bad. And coming from Funko, you wouldn't expect that too much. And there's even like a little hinge joint right there. So when you bend the elbow, you can actually get more range of motion than you could with this arm. So this arm gets about 90 degrees. This, guy, this arm gets way more than 90 degrees. Um, so that's actually a plus. So there's pluses with some of the older stuff, and they're all on single hinges. I would say the head articulation is pretty comparable between the two. I would say you're getting more, way more range of motion with him. You're getting the pivots and the jiggles and the, the jive turkeys, where on this guy, you're just kind of getting a ball peg, and it's a tight ball peg fit. You can still get some tilts and stuff like that with the older one, but um, like I said, it, it's pretty close as far as articulation goes. I think you only get a swivel here with the wrist, so the wrists would be a little bit better or the hands would be a little bit better with the newer one. I would say the paint job is definitely better with this new one. Um, you're getting this kind of nice accent of flats meeting a gloss where this is just pretty much all flat right here. There's no gloss to it at all. Um, which is not, it's not a, necessarily a bad thing. Some people like that more cartoony look, with not maybe so much of a shine to it where um, in other iterations, maybe of, of Mega Man aren't as shiny. Um, you could go with that being the version, but I think that uh, this is pretty, like I said, comparable to the newer one. It's just kind of a different style from a totally different toy company. Um, he only had like a swivel at the waist. Um, so no diaphragm joint either. He did have a waist swivel, um, he didn't really have too much, uh, he's, I think he's just got ball, uh, ball, uh, legs right here. Cause they kind of swivel like that. They don't really want to go up too much. Um, you kind of have to swivel it outward because it is a ball peg. That's it. So hips are way better T-jointed hips with swivels at the thighs and everything. But the knee joint actually is pretty well done. You can still get 90 degrees, the same, almost the same range of motion as this guy. Um, and the ankles are, I want to say, actually, <laughs> going forward with the ankle is better on the older one than going back. Back is neutral, so th these are, like, reversed. Um, the, the going forward motion is better on him. The going back version is better on him. <laughs> and I would say the ankle pivot is a little bit better on the on the newer one. He still does have the sculpted jet boosters on the bottom of his feet. And I, like I said, I, if you d already have this guy and you're not like crazy into Mega Man, I think you could just kind of hold on to the Funko one and, and that'll be fine. Um, he was 20 bucks, but it was four years ago, I think. And he, it, he was 25 bucks. So, um, but this is also four years later, different economy entirely. So, and I guess apples to oranges by a hair, but really it's, it's kind of the same market um, just four years later. So um, yeah, I don't know. I would recommend both. I think they're both solid figures. I mean, how much Mega Man do you Mega Man, you know, how, how much <laughs> Mega Man do you love? Um, I just happen to already have this guy, but when I saw this and I saw it was from Jada Toys. I, you know, there's something about that company where I just want to buy their product. All right, really quick. Um, I shot the whole review and I forgot to do this. <laughs> I'll do some uh, size comparisons really quick uh, with some other figures. Um, we'll just bring in, why not? We'll bring in a, a Ninja Turtle, an old 
retro Ninja Turtle, if I can get this stupid hose off. There we go. There is a Scumbug. And here is a 25th anniversary because I just shot his review not too long ago. 25th anniversary Airborne. So that kind of gives you the idea of scale right there. Let me get him out of there. And then we'll put in Shooter. She's pretty tall. <laughs> She's got a custom gun from Gridiron. It is a G36 sniper rifle. And then we'll bring in Nunchuck here from the Classifieds line. Here we go. Jada Toys. Here's Chun Li. There you go. And then we've got. We'll bring in. I love this Robin. He looks so good. Bring in Robin. He is really tall. <laughs> he is very tall. There we go. There's Robin for you. Robin of the Hood. There we go. Robin of Loxley. Uh, but I love this Robin. He's really awesome. Uh, and then, you know, how many more do we need here? I think you guys get the get the drift here. I guess we'll do one more round. We're, we'll do a uh, Indiana Jones here. Temple of Dune. My favorite look for Indy. And, I mean, we've got to do Obligatory Duke. I know we just did two classifieds. We'll do one more round, I guess. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. Uh, I'll get a Marvel Legend in here or something. I do like this figure. This was a good one last year on Marvel Legends side here. It's going to be a little bit crouched because I got him in a weird pose, but all right, we'll just move obligatory Duke. Still love that Duke figure. I know a lot of people are like, we need an updated Duke. That Duke, that old Duke sucks. And I'm like, what? what? What's wrong with him? It's because he's got shin pads, guys. I mean, for cereal. Anyway. And then, oh, all right, fine. I'll do one more. I'll just take him out of there and we'll put in the Invisible Man. Also from Jada Toys. <laughs> Such a dork. Um, I would say final verdict for Mr. Mega Man here from Jada Toys is uh, definitely a two thumbs up. I really like this figure. I think it's a good one. I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, you guys know me. If I don't like something, I'm going to let you know, and I'm going to really let you know. But uh, when I do, and I think it's uh, it's good, um, I definitely will recommend it 100%. Um, you know, and now more than I'm thinking about it, it is, you know, this is, I guess, comparable, but it is a lesser version. Um, so if you wanted the better version, I would say go for the Jada toys. If you already have him, like I said, he's not horrible. So I guess I would still recommend him if you still have him. And he does still come with accessories too. That's the other cool part about that older figure. So, uh, but this one in particular, I think is superior. Um, the proportions are a little bit uh, different on this one too. It's different. Definitely supposed to go for that similar style but with different i like the the extra head the accessories like i said it's pretty much me just repeating myself over and over again so i will just let a laying dog lie and not poke the bear and how many other silly examples can i give anyway i digress i hope you guys enjoyed this review uh, like I said, definitely a two thumbs up for this Mega Man. Go pick him up if you're into Mega Man. I haven't got the other two silly boys, the Iceman and Fireman. I don't know how deep I'm going to go into this. I think I just wanted this Mega Man. If I see them for a hair, a hair uh, less, maybe I'll pick them up. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know how deep I want to go with this. I think I just wanted this Mega Man. He just looks really, really good. So... Uh, but enjoyable nonetheless, and uh, pretty happy to have him in my collection. And um, yeah, go pick him up. That's going to be pretty much it for me. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you for watching as always, and I will see you guys on the flip side.